They're all, oh, they're ready and they're excited. And please give a warm round of applause for the very funny Nick Moustakis. Nick! <laughs> Speaking about being an adult, um, you know, I have to say something. Getting old sucks. No, it really does suck. Um, I, I think the, um, the hardest part about getting old is that your greatest fears as a child uh, become validated when you get old. <laughs> Hold on, let me explain, let me explain. So I'm a little kid with my brother and my mom brings us to Toys R Us. And she goes to me and my brother, you guys get to choose one Batman toy. <laughs> Pretty much setting us up for failure. And obviously, we get into an argument. And obviously, our mom goes to us and says, you know what? If you can't decide, no toys for you guys. Life sucks. <laughs> it really does. And the, the thing is that when you get old, you know, you could buy as many Batman toys as you want, um, except that those Batman toys uh, become a brand new car, and your mom is the car dealership, or the car manufacturer for that matter. Um, and you, you've seen how they've advertised these cars, you know, you driving through the cityscape, you know, avoiding obstacles, freaking Matthew McConaughey voiceover, be your own freaking life or some shit like that. <laughs> It's crazy. And you know, the, the, the salesperson, he might as well be saying to you that, hey, if you buy this car, you're gonna get this much tits and ass. And it's like, okay, well, listen, dude, um, I'm married, but uh, I'm down for the whole part of me giving you money and you giving me car. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Um, you know, we'll take your money. We'll take your money, but uh, you're gonna have to wait a very long time for your car. What do you mean, a long time? Uh, you know, COVID, uh, Chinese uh, chip shortage, 46 months, that was a year ago. Life sucks. <laughs> Another uh, greatest fear of when I was a kid uh, was that I never wanted to be seen around my parents. You know, they were embarrassing. All right, they were out of touch. If my friends saw me with my parents as a kid, that is social suicide. It was over, all right? But you know what? You get older and you start to love your parents. You really do. And you know what? I enjoy spending a lot of time with um, my dad and a lot of time with my wife's um, dad and mom. So much that um, me and my wife actually, we took um, her dad to Wonderland for his birthday. It's actually a really good time. Uh, we, we rode all the rides, and uh, we were there for a couple hours. And um, it was nearing the end of the night, and uh, we wanted to ride one more ride. Uh, at this point, my wife was exhausted, so she just kind of held back. And me and her father, Francis, uh, decided to get into line um, and wait uh, for Behemoth. Um, and by that, I mean skip the whole line because we bought Fast Pass. Uh, <laughs> have you guys ever bought Fast Pass before? No. It's the most amazing thing in the world. You walk past these people and they give you the dirtiest looks. <laughs> it's amazing, right? And you know, they, they give you those dirty looks and you kind of look back at them a bit small and you're like, yeah, that's right. I got Fast Pass. <laughs> See you later. And you know what the funniest thing is? They can't, again, they can't do shit because they are stuck in line, and by the time they conjure up, you know, am I gonna say something? What should I say to them? You're gone, <laughs> all right? You are gone. The problem is, uh, the closer you get to the front of the line, um, you know, the riskier it gets, because now you're standing in line with the peasants, okay? <laughs> and um, my, my, um, my father-in-law didn't get this, uh, so we stand in front of the line, and uh, we wanted to get to the front of the train. And we met the only employee, the only employee that gives a shit about his job because he would not let us to the front. He said it was first come, first serve. Uh, first, first serve. And it was basically an immovable object um, dealing with an unreasonable force being my father-in-law. 
argument ensues. Oh, I want to be at the front of the line. No, you can't, sir. Oh, well, you know what? I waited in line for this. <laughs> Imagine you waiting for three hours and some <laughs> asshole said, I waited in line for this. So anyways, uh, long story short, and it is a long story because we were there for 45 minutes. They actually delayed the whole train. We finally get, you know, on the train after he said, I want to speak with your manager. And that's like the ultimate, ultimate thing you could do when you have an argument with an employee. I want to deal with your ma uh, talk to your manager. So we finished the ride and, um, and uh, we get off and we get to my lovely wife who's been waiting patiently. And uh, she goes to us, because it was only supposed to be about five minutes. And she goes to us, she says, what happened? And uh, we're like, oh, we, we had some issues with the, uh, the employee. And she looks at me, and she says, Nick, what did you do? All right, thank you, everyone. <laughs>